Are you dead? Nil for half of the egg. Is it nice? Was it worth the wait? So you join us on a very wet Manchester morning. We're just about to go into a meeting down the road at the studio. With the studio manager, well, he's the mill manager, Matt. We've got a few issues because there's a leaky roof and it's destroyed one of the lights in there. So we kind of want some kind of compensation from them or, you know, some something, anything from them because it's not fair, it's not right. You know, the studio lights that Sarah uses in there are like, a thousand pound each the Bowens <coughs> lights and one of them's completely trashed because the water got into the unit so we're just gonna nip there now see what Matt's got to say about it and for himself and then hopefully fingers crossed we'll come out there with a resolution and then we can give everybody the address for the unit so if anybody wants to send anything to the kids or anything else because uh, we keep having messages we don't want anything we don't want anything sending but we keep getting messages on instagram and twitter and facebook and on uh, <coughs> youtube with people saying they want to send halloween stuff um, and we've also had a couple of messages from different companies like Hasbro as well who want to send us stuff which we normally get that stuff sent to the house but it'd be good to have it all sent to one place wouldn't it? Morning. You ready for the day? So we're back vlogging again in the morning. It's difficult when Vanellope's off school because we don't like to stay in the house all the time so there should be a bit of variation today. I've set the GoPros back up in the car so you'll probably see the kids later on but the car's been trashed again by the kids it's just a nightmare so we're gonna go and see Matt now aren't we? and see what he's got to say one hour later so we just got out of the meeting with matt from the studio and we are going to be moving to a new studio he's just shown us one it's a little bit smaller than the one we're in which we're happy with and it's got a window so it can let the natural light in which is really important for sarah's photographer and also it'll allow us to go there and do challenges and stuff with the kids properly because in that <laughs> one it's just a little bit scruffy and a little bit dusty in this one this mill on the other side it's perfect because it's literally got, it's carpeted, it's got a window, it's even got a fireplace in it, so it's just gonna be like, well, it's gonna be like a, a little house in it, a little living room, but it's gonna be so much better for challenges and stuff like that, so we'll be able to up the game yet again. We don't, we're not gonna be doing challenges from the back of a, an old shipping container. We might, one day. Yeah, maybe when we get half a million subscribers. We might get a shipping container. We might never ever get half a million subscribers. <coughs> I doubt it very much. But you you know what? Never say never. Never never say never. Is it Peter Pan said that? I don't know. I'm trying to use a Disney terminology. Tell him who they said works in here. Oh, um, I don't know if anybody knows, but the Bradshaws, which is like used to be on um the radio. It was a guy, a guy called Buzz. He used our buzzer. He used to do. Well, he does the voices for them. We didn't know that he was under the unit below us. So it's pretty funny that because my mum's husband, Ian, the kid's granddad, he's a massive Bradshaws fan. So I think what I'm going to try and do is I think I'm going to get a picture off eBay or Amazon, and I'm going to get him to personalise it and sign it for Ian, and we'll give it him for Christmas. Grumpy granddad. Yeah, we'll put Grumpy Grandad and we'll ask him if he'll do like a little recording for Ian or something like that. Saying Grumpy Grandad. Yeah, you never know. So I'm going to drop Sarah off home now. I've got to go and pick the kids up. Then from getting the kids, I've got to go and pick Liam up from his work experience. He was doing work experience today at Pound Stretcher. And then it's back home to pick Vanellope up or Sarah's going to pick her up. I dropped her off. Sarah's going to pick her up because she did ask. Mum picked me up. Did she? Yeah. I think he's lying. She didn't, but it sounded good on the vlog. <laughs> so, um, yeah, then we'll be back. I'm not sure what we'll be doing for the duration of said day. Do you? No. Anything planned? No? Editing. Editing, more editing and editing. I will see you. I'm not going to finish it like that anymore. A little longer than a few minutes later. So we're back. Well, I'm back. Sarah's already been here. I've just picked Vanellope up, went to Tesco's, came back. Didn't record or vlog in Tesco's because I think you're a bit sick of seeing us in Asda, Tesco's, B&M's. The only places we haven't been is Lidl and Alda. So, yeah. but if you look back in one of the other vlogs, she was moaning about me not getting her a toffee apple. So I went out today and they were selling them in Tesco's. So I went and got her a toffee apple. If you didn't, you're lying. 
Are you dead? No, I fell off the deck. Is it nice? No. Was it worth the wait? Yeah. You can't beat a traditional English toffee apple until, and this is a big until, you have one of the caramel apples at Disney World. Oh my God, they are amazing. They're like dipped in caramel. In fact, you know what, I'm gonna put a picture up here. And this time I'm gonna put, yeah, I am. You'll have seen it anyway, you'll have seen the picture that came up there. So, ha ha. Well, Even Max likes them, and he's never been. 24 hours walking. We're just getting some proof that they've actually done something. Eves is trying to get out the door. <laughs> right, in. In. Mommy. Eves, in. Missed a bit. Just a bit. You do know that's pointless. Is brushing it all onto the road, and when we wake up in the morning, it'll all be back. You missed a bit here as well. So as you just witnessed. I've just cleaned the leaves up for the second time in about a week. It just gets worse. It doesn't stop till probably the end of December. It's a nightmare, it just looks scruffy. So I look kind of okay now. I think I'm gonna get in a nice radox bath. You know, I kind of wanted bath bombs, but just didn't have any. So it's radox for me, unfortunately. So I've just been telling everybody that I'm gonna, get a, gonna be getting a bath in a minute and we're all, we can only afford Radox. We're not on the level of lush bombs, are we, at the minute? <coughs> Can't do it. Wish I could, but then again, I'd rather just have the Radox. I like Radox. You like Radox? Do you like lush bath bombs as well? Yeah. You do? You're gonna buy them some for Christmas. Yeah. Do I get to pick them? Well, yeah? Fine. So, I put an Instagram, I don't know if anybody follows our Instagram, if you don't, it'll be coming up at the bottom. These are mine and Sarah's glasses for weekend at the party. I've got the Beetlejuice one, she's got the Deadly Nightshade, which is like a unicorn type thing, an evil unicorn, I think. Yep, yeah, I've got this one. They were really cool and they were only a pound from B&M Bargains, so if you like them, they do other ones as well, go down to b and to get them because they're selling out pretty quick because obviously it's a pound, it's glass. It's not stickers, it's actually kind of, uh, it's like sublimation printing on them. So it's really good. But once we've had a bath, we're going to settle down for the night. And I'm going to be showing Sarah this morning. They released the new trailer. It's going to be the last trailer for The Last Jedi, the new Star Wars film. And it was absolutely epic. It was amazing. So I'm going to put it on the TV later on. I'm going to have it on. We're going to have it on in full HD watch it a couple of times because there's just so many twists and it's just it's just crazy it gets you thinking and I can't wait we've actually oh we're gonna be booking the tickets with Daz Naomi I think my cousin Graham's coming you haven't seen him before he's um he's like me he's devishly devish he's like me he's ridiculously good looking Must it runs in the family mm -hmm. yeah you're a very lucky woman always remember that before you go to bed and when you wake up anyway the trailer is epic. If you haven't seen it, go go below now and check it out in the description. I'll try and put a link up at the top as well for the new trailer because it's it's amazing. And I went and seen The Force Awakens with Sarah and she really enjoyed that, which I was surprised. She enjoyed it a lot. So when it comes out in the cinemas, what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna do like you can watch The Force Awakens and then you can watch The Last Jedi one after each other. So I think that's what we're gonna do in um, a glorious IMAX. So 
think we're going to check in with the boys in a minute as well, Oscar and Alfie, because they got some fluffy fly slime today. Fluffy slime? They got some fluffy slime. Got some fluffy slime today. So we'll go and check in with them. And then Liam did his first day at work, which was um, a pound stretcher. You know, like um, work experience. So we'll we'll check in with Liam as well in a minute and see what he thought of pound stretcher. Just then. So Liam did his first day at work today. So Liam's going to tell us how his first day went. All right, so. All right. Come on. You need All that right. hair cutting. All right. He's got a cow's flick on his head. So when his hair grows, it never grows straight. It just like flicks up. You need it cutting. You're going to have it done this week. It don't flick up. I can put it down. So come on, tell everybody what you've done. Stack shelves. And that's it. Yeah, but what was she stacking on the shelves? Sweets. Uh... Bleach, um, mirrors, and all stuff like that. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. What time did you have your dinner? Half 11 to 12. Did you get another break after that? Yep. Yeah. About an hour before day, didn't you? About 15 minutes. No, half an hour for my dinner. And then 15 minutes for my, dip, for my other break. Yeah, that's what I said, 15 minutes for your other break. So, do you just do that now every Tuesday? Yeah. But I do what I'm asking for a part-time job. So he'll be doing that now every Tuesday as a part of his work experience. Yeah, but what he's also said is as well, because on a Friday, he doesn't do anything, he doesn't go to college on a Friday, he's got a free day, so he's asking him to ask him if he can go in. So he's helping himself there because he's showing his dedication towards him, so hopefully he might take him on. Yeah. Do you get paid for that? No. No, is it just... No, but you, yeah. if you like get that, experience. I'm going to show him right that you can... Would you, would, you, would you like to work there for a bit? Yeah. <laughs> a job's a job. Pays the bills. Doesn't matter what you do. I know, it was like when I used to be that, a stuntman. I know. But I got with you. Dave used to be a stuntman when I got with him. I used to be a millionaire. Then I got with Dave. Now I'm not. Me and Portia are just gonna nip to Tesco's. Sarah wants a cake. I've got a bit of a sweet tooth tonight. I am actually going on a diet on Monday. You'll see that then. Uh, I came across a video before called Awkward Period Talk. <coughs> which I thought was funny. Um, you want an awkward period talk, you wanna come in this house once a month. I'll tell you something now, that is an awkward period talk. So we've just got in Tesco and we're looking for, I'm not going to tell you what it is unless we find it in here, but I've just seen it on the internet, you won't believe this if we find it. If I find it, I'll show you in a minute, but we're on a mission for it. If it's not in this Tesco's, it's going to be in the other Tesco's at Staley Bridge. They're not in this Tesco's, but I'll give you a clue. It's on the crisp aisle, but I will get them tomorrow, hopefully. I'll search for them with Sarah and we'll come back with them and we'll taste test them for you. But they look weird. So Porsche's just chewed my backside off about ice creams. We had to go through all the flavours of the ice creams, didn't we? Yeah. So, I said I'll treat her this week. We'll treat her this week for some ice cream with the boys. Do the ice cream challenge one day. Yeah, we'll do the ice cream challenge one day. I'm never going to lose weight. A little later. So I had to just go back to the car because the camera was left in there. We're going to end the vlog now anyway. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And remember, we do this every single day, 365 days a year. You already know that by now anyway. Just give you a quick shot of the outside of the house at night time. So it's looking pretty cool. We've got the pumpkin, we've got the skeleton, we've got Sarah, I mean the witch. We've got the beware with the blood at the top there. So yeah, we didn't get to film the boys showing you the fluffy slime like I said before because they both had a chronic headache and um, we think it's due because they're just always in front of the TV before they go to bed. So they will show you their fluffy slime tomorrow when they get home from school. And we will see you guys tomorrow at 6pm on the dot because we vlog every single day.